Have y'all heard about this? I just now found this when I was carousing around, looking around and stuff. Got a little action over in the Russia Chelyabinsk region. There's quite a few videos on this article here. Well, the article goes down to say there's a big fireball over the Chelyabinsk region early Friday. You got a lot of witnesses and videos. They're reporting a powerful blast. And reports suggest it was caused by a meteorite. Supposedly at an altitude of about 32,800 feet. And there was a witness east of Moscow in the Ural Mountains. Heard a big blast in the morning. Said he felt a shock wave in a 19 story building. He made car alarms go off and broke some windows. Spokesman for the Interior Ministry said it resulted in an explosion and sonic boom. About a hundred people had minor injuries due to the broken glass, mainly. And you have a bunch of YouTube videos that shows it going across the sky, real bright. And then the local residents, it says, are speculating that the blast could have been caused by a missile explosion or a military plane crash, but uh, their emergency officials are saying that that ain't in the case. They are saying it's definitely not a plane. Gathering the bits of information have no data on the casualties so far. There's at least two videos they've got on this article. There's three. There's four. There's five. Now this is on the, uh, well, you know, you got 2012 DA 14 going to pass tomorrow. And it's saying it's not likely there's a connection between it. But this bright flash and explosion in the air would be consistent with the atmospheric entry and breaking up of a large meteoroid. So, I thought they had track of all the number of objects, but I guess they missed one. Anybody got any more info? Let me know. I'm going to try to find some more out about this. Let's see. Check our earthquakes out. This would be on the 15th up here. Tonga was the big one with the 5.8. You have Russia pops in at a 4.4. Dropping back into Valentine's Day the 14th. You see northeastern Saka, Russia again, a 6.6, .6, and a 4.6, and a 4.9, and a 4.9, and a 4.6, and a 4.8. There's something kind of weird there. They get this meteoroid. And get their cells some earthquakes. So everybody else seems to be lower magnitudes, Indonesia 4.7, Fuller C 4.9, Santa Cruz, there's Santa Cruz still getting a little one, 4.7, Tonga 4.6, and Japan 4.5, Indonesia down there at 4.8. Santa Cruz, 4.8, Mexico offshore, 4.5, Indonesia, 4.6, Santa Cruz, 4.8. Go back into the 13th. At Indonesia, 
Santa Cruz five, two five twos in Santa Cruz, five and a half in Indonesia, another five two in Santa Cruz. Indonesia with a five three, Japan five and a half. And you see Nevada's had some little ones here between three and seven and three point two. And then you see they did pop off a of five point one just you know a little over a day ago. And then they're having some aftershocks apparently. So really right now at this time it looks like the Russians have the big red on the board. And there you can see it right up here, right in that region. Everywhere else is under that magnitude of 6.6 .6 that we look at. So mainly, I just wanted to bring it to you and show you about the fireball because I know everybody was aware of the 2012 DA-14 fly by tomorrow and it's I'm still stick I have to agree with Don Yeomans this time a lot of times I don't like to agree with him I don't really I'm not partial to him but I don't think it's going to hit anything but it was odd that just shortly before it passes by that this flew over Russia created created that sonic boom broke windows and people suffered injuries and stuff from it so we'll have to keep our keep our ear to the ground try and get some more information on this I gotta make another little video after this one uh, it's mainly uh, the next video I'm gonna make. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some links on it for some other videos that I think you might enjoy, and I'll have that up here in a little bit. So I'll speak a little bit about the uh, subject of the videos, and then if you're all interested in the subject and the person, then you can enjoy yourselves and take a look.